A number of Olympians, including Michael Phelps, have been spotted covered in large purple dots. It's a result of cupping, an ancient form of Chinese medicine that promotes blood flow. But is there any proof it works? Dr. Ali Khazrayan joins us on the morning show to talk about this phenomena. Good to have you here. Good morning. So, does it work? Is there proof? There are some studies that actually show that it may be beneficial for certain diseases. Mostly it's, it's been studied in the realm of pain, but acne, uh, certain diseases such as the shingles, facial paralysis, certain neck pains, uh, it shows it's had some benefit. The problem is most of the studies are small. Uh, most of the studies haven't had been of spectacular quality, but a big, uh, what's called a meta-analysis, it looked at a number of studies, looked at a 135 studies from 1992 to 2010 and showed some benefit, but again, the studies were not the, the strongest uh, high-powered studies. Uh, so, the, so the jury's out. I, I didn't hear anything in there that would tell me why the Olympians are doing it. So the mechanism of this is that you take a heated cup and put it on the skin. As the, as the cup cools, it creates vacuum that raises the skin off the muscle underneath it, and the blood vessels in that area expand, and it causes a bit of bleeding. And uh, the thought is that that bleeding brings forth blood uh, with, with inflammatory cells, so it promotes healing and accelerates uh, the, uh, the healing process so that it uh, decreases recovery time. It almost sounds like the same theory behind using a leech. Well, it, the leaching is, is a bleeding. So, so the, what they are doing here is dry cupping. Actually, there's a there's a process which you know is not quite as commonly done, uh, and I wouldn't recommend trying. Uh, is wet cupping, where actually they do a similar process. They create a vacuum and then make small incisions that bring more blood to the area. So, I don't recommend anyone does that. Uh, but this dry cupping technique is, is thought to promote healing. So that's the Western medicine theories behind it. If you look at more Eastern. Uh, medical theories. Again, this is a Chinese medicine, medical art. Uh, it's been described in the literature of e Egyptian medicine, medical texts, uh, Greek medical texts. Uh, the idea with that is, is more on this concept of the meridian. It's a uh, very, very delicate and intricate uh, uh, web of energy uh, that flows. And so if you place these in the proper area, uh, you can uh, increase and stimulate the flow of energy. So that also stimulates healing and uh, regenerates uh, the, the body's ability to heal, promotes recovery. And so for these Olympians, being able to get back and compete in this short amount of time during the two weeks of the Olympics is important. The other thing to keep in mind is, is, is these are well-trained athletes. They have trainers, especially the American Olympians. And, and so they're not going to do anything uh, without putting some thought into whether it's going to hurt them. These bruises usually go away within three to seven days. There haven't been, the studies that have been done do not show any long-term harm. Um, but uh, for, the, for the audience, I wouldn't recommend doing this without talking to your physician, making sure it's safe uh, to do, and obviously make sure there's a reason to do it. I was going to ask, who, who, who can best take advantage of this? So with this, in the studies that have been mostly done, and the reasons the athletes are doing is obviously pain and trying to recover in areas that are bothering them, um, and, and that's one thing. In, in, the, in the Eastern literature, this, that they, they look at acne, uh, various different pain, low back pain, cervical pain, um, and shingles and facial paralysis. But those you'd really have to do under the guidance of a physician from that standpoint. Now, most of the patients there looked like they were comfortable, but I saw one or two people kind of grimacing. So people are asking, it looks painful. I mean, at least a big purple mark. Does it hurt? Again, I must admit I have never experienced cupping, but from what I have read and, and, and the things that I have I've seen, it seems to be momentarily uncomfortable. These, the, the cupping process lasts about five to ten minutes, uh, and uh, the suctioning and the vacuum that's done in that area creates a bit of pressure, uh, but it doesn't seem to last a pro profound amount of time. But again, I would recommend doing this under the guidance of a physician if you've never done it before. Dr. Kazran, always good to have you here. Say, if you missed any of this interview, you can watch it online at newsforjacks.com. Look on the morning show page. It'll be posted later this afternoon. Take you outside right now.